Frog and the Nightingale by Vikram Seth Questions and Answer Question 1. Why does the poem begin with Once Upon a Time? Answer. The poem is a story poem. To create the effect of a story with a moral, the poet begins it this way. Question 2. What is Bingo Bog? Answer. Bingo Bog is marshy patch of land part of a forest where live the frog in the poem apart from a number of other animals. Question 3. Where exactly did the frog live? Answer. The frog lived under a sumac tree in the bingo bog. Question 4. What was the time of the frog's minstrels? Answer. The frog's minstrel timing began in the late evening and extended up to early morning. Question 5. What poetic device is employed in the line, he croaked on and on and on? What does on mean? Answer. Repetition is the poetic device used in the line. On means a bristle-like growth on grains. Question 6. Why was there no choice for the creatures in Bingo Bog? Answer. The animals in the Bingo Bog had no choice because the frog went on croaking throughout every night and never heeded to their requests and threats. Question 7. What do the words, crass cacophony, blared out suggest about the quality of the frog's singing? Answer. These words are suggestive of the frog's rough, unpleasant and loud voice. Question 8. How was the frog known as in the bingo bog? Answer. The frog was known for his irritating sound that used to trouble all the creatures of the bog. Question 9. What was the effect of the nightingale's song? Answer. When the nightingale started casting her melody in the moonlight, the frog was left dumbstruck whereas the other creatures dream walked to the sumac tree. The whole bog remained rapt and admired her voice and applauded her when she ended but the frog went mad at this. Question 10. How was the frog's reaction to the nightingale different from the other creatures? What was the consequence of this ill feeling? Answer. The frog was obviously jealous of his rival the nightingale and had finally decided to eliminate her. Question 11. How did the creatures try to stop the frog? Answer. The creatures of Bingo Bog tried to stop the frog singing by means of requests, prayers, threats, etc. They even went on beating the frog with sticks and hitting him with stones. Question 12. What was the frog's determination? Answer. The frog's determination was to sing throughout the night in spite of all the criticism and objections faced from the creatures of the bingo. Question 13. What was the frog's heart's elation? Answer. The frog's heart's elation was that he was a remarkable singer. Question 14. How did the frog display his heart's elation? Answer. The frog displayed his heart's elation by singing songs. Question 15. What was the frog's heart's elation? How did he display it? Answer. The pride that he was the peerless singer of the bingo bog was the frog's heart's elation. He displayed it by singing throughout the nights. Question 16. How did the bingo bog respond to the nightingale songs? Answer. The inhabitants of the Bingo Bog were thrilled when they heard the bird song. A large number of them were all of them except the envious frog came to the sumac tree to listen to her concerts and when she ended each song, they heartily cheered for her. Question 17. Why is the frog called a solitary loon? Exceptional questions. Answer. Solitary loon means a lonely madman. Seeing that the nightingale's song was unanimously loved by the whole bingo bog and that he had lost his fame, the frog became mad and he could not join the admiring creatures of the bog and remained solitary. Question 18. Explain, quite unused to such applause. Answer. 
it is evident that the Nightingale had never been applauded as she was applauded in the Bingo Bog. The praises she was bestowed on were quite unfamiliar to her. Reference to context, other creatures loathed his voice, but, alas, they had no choice, and the crass cacophony blared out from the sumac tree at whose foot the frog each night minstreled on till morning night. Question 19. How did the frog plan to eliminate his rival? What did he do for this? Answer. The frog decided to eliminate the nightingale by being her trainer first and then making her voice as rough and uninspiring as his own. To become her trainer, the frog first pretended to be a critic of music and showered a lot of flattery on him saying that he was the renowned male singer of the bingo ball. Question 20. How did the frog introduce himself to the nightingale? Answer. On being asked about himself by the nightingale the frog answered that he owned the sumac tree and that he had been known for his splendid voice. Also he said that he had written a number of songs for the bog trumpet. If you like the video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you.